Hey guys, this is Steve from RC Heli Hangout. I'm just going to show you really quick one of the new things I've been working on a little bit. I know Augie Copter has a fantastic uh, training he's putting on, and I've been too busy with work to take part of that. But I'm going to show you one little thing here. I'm going to try to keep this really short and not bore anybody to death, but just something I, I'm always like finding new things um, that I can improve on, and this kind of a cool thing I want to show you really quick try to see if I can keep the audio level where you can hear it at the same time and talk but um, something I um, something I more recently have done is I have one particular orientation or a TikTok orientation that's always been a weak point it still is a weak point um, one year ago, I couldn't do this at all without going all over the place. I've always been able to do, I think, pretty much every other orientation of TikTok, except for, uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about anyway. try this I would try this in every orientation just to kind of see where your weak point might be. If you're just doing a normal hover, right? And think about the elevator stick. You know, you're gonna push forward, go forward, you're gonna pull back to come back. Uh, for me, and I discovered this just a couple days ago, I go up into this orientation, right? If I give it if I give it forward or back elevator, it kinda freaks me out because it does something I don't expect. That tells me I, I'm not familiar with something going on there. See there, that one, see I practiced this for an hour, so I'm starting to figure it out. But if I was in this config and I pulled the stick back, you know, it would it would be like panic mode, fix it. It wasn't like I was under control. But it's getting better. Like that, I it was, just, it was doing stuff I totally didn't expect. If I would give it a hard... Um, elevator command while it's sort of on the in the middle of the TikTok config right here. And it's kind of a cheating thing, so if you're going to try this yourself, I found like if I give it that hard elevator, if I give it throttle at the same time, I'm much more familiar with that. So it must be part of another maneuver or something that's just multiple memory. But when you get into this, if I, if I just hard nose it without giving it throttle, it's, a ver it's very unfamiliar territory and the heli does something I don't expect. So that was a new thing. I just thought I should share that with the group. And I encourage anybody to try that same maneuver or any other variation of it you can think of. So um, the other thing is um, I, this over the last year is, uh, I've never I've never really learned how to, I need to keep the video story, but I've never learned how to do uh serum clips, let alone serum six back. System. I made a decision a long time ago. I'm not going to specifically sit down and discipline myself to learn them. It's going to come naturally while I learn other basic systems. I'm not an expert yet, but um, my joke is I can do zero with uh, right rudder or left rudder equally bad. So, you know, the right rudder, you know, it's just not perfect, but it's, just, it's way better than it was. And then for me, whatever reason, left rudder is so much easier than, I'm not doing a very good job here, but I'm naturally a lot better at left rudder. Than left. So, thanks for watching.
I'm going to get out of here. If there's anything in there that you can use, wonderful. Enjoy. Take care. Bye-bye.